What do we get? It doesn't feel big. Now it does. Welcome back. It's kind of late morning here. We can fish to the early afternoon. Don't have a ton of time, but hopefully it's enough time. First thing I'm gonna do here is head towards this little island over here. And um, then these rocks over here in this little bay that we're in and throw a drop shot. See if I can catch a couple of little bluegills, real small ones for bait. Got my little ultralight rod stowed under the chair here. And I'm gonna drop a couple of little, little baby red worms here, tiny ones. I've got a little tiny hook, size 10. Thread one of these guys on here and get some bait. I kind of want to be quick about this. I'm not really trying to kill too much of the time I have fishing for these little guys, but hopefully we can pick a few up in fairly short order here. Oh, we got something. Yep, that's what we want. That's a bigger one. But um, we can chunk him. That'll work. The current's really pushing me right at those rocks. Let's bonk this little guy. Even got to keep my worm. Originally, I was hoping to catch mostly just really tiny ones, which is why I got the tiny little hook on there. Um, because I wanted to use them as live bait, because I thought I wasn't gonna buy these larger, medium, medium large size shiners that I bought from the bait shop. I thought I was just gonna buy tiny ones for crappie. There's a bite. Uh-oh, what's this? <laughs> it felt heavy at first, that's why I said, uh-oh. But it's just a sunfish probably, maybe smaller than that last one. Yep, good. That's, we could put that. No, that's probably too big for live bait. But it's great for cut bait. There's a bite. He's got it. That's a red ear. It's a little bit bigger. Come on, come on. It's not that big, but I was hoping to get some tiny ones. All right, let's see if we can get one or two more quickly. There's a bite. Ooh, is the fish on? What's going on here? He's got it. Ah, perfect, perfect. There we go. This is gonna scare our bait to death because I'm gonna put it in the bait tank with, with the shiners. A little tiny bluegill. All right, and there he goes. Close that fast before they jump out. <laughs> He's not big enough to really harm those, I don't think, but he will scare the shit out of them. He broke us off. All right, that's it. We're getting out of here. And move on. That was pretty productive, actually. I am satisfied with that. Get these sunfish in the cooler here. Got one, two, and three cut bait for both today and tomorrow. I'm gonna do a little, little bit of bank fishing for catfish tomorrow afternoon.
I got a new bait tank too, I don't know. Check it out. A bit larger. It's got the aerator built into the top so it's not hanging off the side, making it kind of unbalanced. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff under us right here. No, the plan is, I know where I'm going. I don't want to deviate from the plan too much. We'll be back here later. Now let's troll, let's troll our way to where we're going. It's gonna slow us down a little bit, but let's see if we can get something on the way. Slow my speed down to about two miles an hour. All right. Throw a crankbait out behind us, let out some line. So we're just gonna troll till we get to a couple of select destinations, and then we're gonna put out bait. And see if we pick anything up on the way there. All right, so the first spot is just up ahead here. There's another boat there. So I'm gonna leave the camera on, but I'm probably not gonna talk very much. Well, looks like that guy's out of here, so that's okay with me. So if you see that buoy out ahead of us, the same direction as my bobber is. That's kind of the high point of this hump that we're on. There's not any like real specific agenda today. It's already gotten screwed up. I was gonna go crappie fishing, but we couldn't get the smaller minnows. So we're just kind of doing whatever. I really just want to be on the lake and catch something to bring home for dinner. So whatever that might be is really fine. If it's catfish, if it's a hybrid, if we ending up figuring out how to find some crappie with gulp or real big ones with those minnows. I got some, some of those minnows aren't huge. Is this hitting the bottom? I think it is. No. Bobber's underwater. Line's coming off too, I think. I think we got something on the minnow. Let's see here. Yep, we do. What do we get? It doesn't feel big. Now it does. Now it does. What do we get? Not huge, but what is it? I think it was a catfish. I think it's a catfish. I kind of got to look at it. I think it's a blue cat. Good size though. If it, I think this is a perfect dinner fish. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. I 
That will work. Okay. Hey, buddy. All right, cool. Catfish on the float rig. Yeah, yeah, that's a good size one to eat. You can measure them if we so desire, but good eater size right there. All right, let, let's dispatch him. That's gonna do it for him. We did it, we caught dinner. Let that guy bleed and we'll get him in the cooler. We still got plenty of minnows here, probably eight more minnows at least. And then those, those two bluegills. Maybe I'll throw the kind of the crappie crappie weight float here because there's crappie on this bridge. I caught one here last time. The, the wind is pushing me so quickly all of a sudden. The bobber just went under in a hurry. What's that? Oh, is that our minnow or something? Try to grab him. What, what happened there? The bobber just like darted under. This is a, oh whoa! Something just grabbed it. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Big crappie. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a little striper or a little hybrid. Oh man, he's messed up too. Let's peek at him. Something really did a number on him. That's just a white bass, I think, not a hybrid. He, he doesn't have the hook too bad. We can let him go. White bass. Check him out though. On this side, he's got kind of an intense wound. I don't know what happened to him when he was younger, maybe. I don't know, but off you go, Chief. Are we getting bit? Yep. What did we get this time? Another white bass? Yeah, there's a bunch of them right here, apparently. This fish swallowed the living shit out of the hook. I was way too long, too, uh, I wasn't sure if I had a bite. Oh, I broke it off. Well, I'm gonna keep this fish for bait because he swallowed the hook. We'll keep him for cut bait. Oh, what's floating there? It's a dead fish. I wonder if that's that white bass I caught earlier. I should go see. If it is, I should go get it and keep it for bait. It looks smaller than that, though. Let's go see what that is. Kind of does look like a white bass, but it's definitely smaller than the one I caught. Ah, couldn't get it. 
Uh, it look, kind of looks like a white bass, but it's old and got its tail bitten off. Oh, there goes my bobber. It's under. What do we get? Feels bigger than that last one. But, yeah, what is this? Oh, it's another, another white bass. There's a bunch of them here. That's a bigger one. He's just hooked right in his lip so we can release him easily and safely. Let's take a peek at him though. Yeah. Nice. All right, dude. See ya. And it is 140. That was our last fish. We got to go. I wish I could stay here longer. Fish this bridge a little more. There's definitely some fish hanging out on it. Maybe not just white bass, but that was cool. We caught some more fish at the end. That kind of makes the day a little bit more complete. We caught bait for today and for tomorrow for catfishing. So that counts for something. We caught a, you know, like a dinner size, good size dinner size catfish, got him in the cooler. Found some white bass there at the end. That was fun. We explored a little bit. Not bad, not bad for a couple few hours. Had pretty limited time. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you next time.